Hey there, welcome back to All Clever. The only channel which provide you all famous companies information at one place. I am your host Mike and today in this podcast, I want to talk about Ericsson, a global leader in telecommunications technology. Ericsson was founded in 1876 by Lars Magnus Ericsson in Stockholm, Sweden. Currently, Ericsson has over 100,000 employees worldwide, and in 2023, they generated a total revenue of over $26 billion. Now, if you're interested in joining the Ericsson team, there are a few steps you can take to apply for a job. First, head to their website and browse their current job openings. From there, you can submit your resume and cover letter online. Make sure to highlight any relevant experience or skills you have that would make you a great fit for the company. And don't forget to do your research on Ericsson beforehand so you can speak to why you're excited about the opportunity to work for them. Interview Process The Ericsson interview process typically involves several stages. Application and Resume Review Submit your application online and your resume will be reviewed by the recruitment team. Initial Screening if your resume matches the requirements, you may undergo an initial screening interview, often conducted over the phone or video call. This interview assesses your basic qualifications and interest in the position. Technical Interviews Depending on the role, you may have one or more technical interviews. These could cover your expertise, problem-solving skills, and technical knowledge related to the position. Assessment Tests some positions may require you to take technical or aptitude tests to evaluate your skills and knowledge. Behavioral interviews. Expect questions about your past experiences, how you handle challenges, and your teamwork skills. This helps assess your fit with the company culture. HR interview. A human resources interview may focus on your overall fit within the organization, including your career goals, values, and cultural alignment. Reference Check Ericsson may contact your previous employers or references to verify your work history and performance. Offer and Negotiation If successful, you'll receive a job offer. There may be room for negotiation regarding salary, benefits, and other terms. Background Check A background check may be conducted to verify the information provided during the application process. Onboarding once everything is finalized, you'll go through the onboarding process to integrate into the company. Note that the specifics can vary based on the position and location, so it's advisable to check with Ericsson or the recruiter for the most accurate information tailored to your situation. As with any company, there are pros and cons to their benefits package, so let's dive in. First, let's talk about the pros Ericsson offers a comprehensive healthcare plan, including dental and vision coverage. They also offer a 401k plan with a company match, which is a great way to save for retirement. Additionally, they offer paid time off and flexible work arrangements, which is great for maintaining a work-life balance. Now, let's talk about the cons. One downside is that their vacation policy is not as generous as some other companies. They also don't offer unlimited sick days, which can be a drawback for some employees. Another potential con is that their maternity and paternity leave policies could be more generous. Overall, Ericsson's employee benefits package has its pros and cons. It's important to carefully consider what's most important to you when evaluating a potential employer's benefits package. If healthcare coverage and retirement savings are your top priorities, then Ericsson could be a great fit for you. However, if you're looking for more generous vacation or sick leave policies, you may want to consider other options. That's it for today's video. If you like this video or subscribe our channel, I will really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.